Too many great entertainers and artists of every type have suffered at the hands of psychiatry and the drugs they dispense. The work and lives of these artists were commemorated at an event sponsored by Artists for a Better World on October 10th in Clearwater, Florida at the venue of Citizens Commission on Human Rights at Fort Harrison Avenue. The event clearly demonstrated how great artists suffered the therapy dispensed by these false health care givers. L.D. Sludge was the master of ceremonies and announced the purpose of the event. Welcome to everybody here. I'm uh, part of the uh, one of the founding members of Artists of the Better World. Sam Guillard, the host of CCHR, welcomed the visitors and gave a very brief summary of what to expect. Artists are always creative. They're always going to come up with things that are brand new. If you're too creative, if you are too eccentric, if you have too much life, if you, you know, fidget in your chair or something like that, you might be considered a little bit disabled or, you know, maybe mentally ill or, you see what I'm saying, this is where we're coming from with the purpose of this open house and we want to raise awareness on that. Steve Cherubino, who is in charge of the Clearwater branch of Artists for a Better World, gave a talk on the role of Artists for a Better World and the success it had been having in Los Angeles. Make the world a safer, calmer environment where people actually can go out, feel safe, have fun, live life the way they want. You can do that through art, and that is one of our purposes. LD then introduced the first guest entertainer, Neil Fox, and he played the piano and sang one of his own compositions. All oh, rise for the zero with a gun To the Godhead. Next up with the songstress Roxy Kerr, who has a magnificent voice, who sang The Enemy of Man that was composed by Artist for a Better World creator Barbara Cordova. And it was a trap sent by the enemy of man. Of man. Next was Adi Ben Dove, artist whose art was displayed throughout the showcase. Adi originated the idea of a fallen artist event, commemorating the lives of artists who fell victim to the medical predator psychiatry and suffered drug addiction, losses, failure, and then death. If you can confront that, if you can face it, you can start doing something about it, and that's what happened to me. And um, I thought, what can I, as an artist, do about it? Because I had to stop this killing of my fellow artist friends. Yeah. All right? So I came up with this idea that uh, also can give other artists an opportunity to do something about it. And this is what we are doing here today. Then the talented and spirited June Middleton recited a poem of her own and two poems by Alan Graham. I told you I'm the new hip hop nonstop poetess of all times because I can take any word and make it rhyme. Mm -hmm. I can make it dance, then do a headstance like a circus horse. I can even make it prance. L.D. Sledge played piano and sang Can't Help Falling in Love in memory of Elvis, as this was one of his gold label hits and favorites. For I can't help falling in love with you. That was awesome. Guests were toured through the Museum of Death, showing the horrors of psychiatry, their treatments, shock therapy, and their grisly products and results. People of all ages and backgrounds came through the show for the brief entertainment, the art, and the CCHR exhibits and videos. Everyone is invited to CCHR in Clearwater to view these exhibits and learn as near to firsthand as you can get and see just what these monsters do to people in the name of health and health. This is just one of the many events that Artists for a Better World will be producing in the future. 
We're a group of many and varied artists. Visual, painting, sculpture, music, writers, ghost writers, designers, performers, and in general artists of every persuasion and genre. Join us.